In this video, I will show you how you can solve your problem on data type mismatch or an error occur while propagating data type or any data type you would be disabling. Firstly, I am not taking any complex model. Here, I am taking a simple max block and max is present in signal blocking and here is max. Here, max has two input. Okay. And max has two input. Here I am taking two constant block. Here two constant block. Okay. And display to observe the output. Okay. Sync and here is display. Okay. Here to demonstrate the problem issue on data type error. Here I am willingly changing the output data type of one constant block to boolean and one has built it double okay now while i'm running this model this shows data type mismatch and here you can see here max has two input and one output two input are required boolean and one output also boolean okay but here i i have already changed to boolean but this this constant block has output data type of double so now what we have to do a simple task okay here we have to convert this double data type to boolean and here i i can also change the value but in some model our where you face the problem you may not have the option to change the output data type okay so what you have to do go to library and commonly use block and here you you will get data type conversion okay now put your data type conversion block to the output of your block here data type conversion block will convert uh, your data type to any desired data type like in here you need boolean output data type so double click on data type conversion block and output data type click on it and here you will find a lot of data type option okay here we have to choose boolean data type now click ok and run the model you can see here your model is run with no problem okay that's the way how you can solve your problem on data type error in simulator what you have to do you have to bring a data type conversion block and you have to change the data type of desire if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss our future videos.